environmental pollution has been a rising problem in past few decades industrial activities human generated hazardous waste and leakage during the transport of toxic chemicals are being released and accumulated within the ecological components toxic chemicals mainly include hydrocarbons xenobiotics and industrial wastes such as toxins produced in dairy tanneries and distilleries the effluent from textile industry contains carcinogenic amines toxic heavy metals pentachlorophenol etc dairy waste consists of cleaning chemicals and detergents used in saponification the increase of pollutants in the ecosystem has induced the need to develop cost effective methods for the removal microorganisms have the ability to break down a huge range of organic compounds and absorb inorganic substances microorganisms metabolize contaminants like oil solvents from soil water bodies and other environments microorganisms are used to clean up the toxic environment with the technique known as bioremediation objective of bioremediation is to modify the contaminants into less toxic neutral or non toxic chemical species it is a unique approach towards the earth repair remediation of polluted sites uses organisms like plants fungi and bacteria also algae bioremediation techniques are decided on the basis of location and the extremity of the contamination These are broadly classified into in situ and ex situ methods. Effective methods of in situ are bio venting and bio sparging. In situ bioremediation means remediation carried out at the site of contamination. This approach avoids the excavation and transport of heavily contaminated area. Ex situ methods involve excavation involving methods such as land farming, composting, biopiles and use of bioreactors. There is a high risk of exposure to pollutants in a toxic free environment due to this kind of procedures. Making a microorganism friendly environment in the vicinity of contaminated site is the productive approach of the bioremediation. which can be achieved by in situ methods effectively bioremediation is a promising approach for degradation of numerous pollutants these pollutants serve as carbon um, as an energy source for microbial growth and as an electron acceptor complex mixtures of hydrocarbons commonly occur in crude oil and gasoline Aerobic degradation occurs with molecular oxygen which can be provided by bioventing and biosparging techniques uh, with the help of injection and circulation to increase the availability of oxygen other strategies uh, of bioremediation involve use of enzyme systems the enzyme groups used are oxidoreductases hydrolases lyases transferases isomerases etc These enzymes have strong degradation capacity according to their substrate affinity. Cytochrome P450 alkane hydroxylases reduce harmful hydrocarbons. Yeast species uh, of Candida such as Candida maltosa, Candida tropicalis, Candida apicola have this enzyme systems which will degrade hydrocarbons. Decomposition or immobilization of dyes and suspended solids is achieved by using metabolic strength of microorganisms like pseudomonas species xenophila species etc algae and fungi also efficiently take part in remediation processes algae such as microcystis species can decolorize bleaching effluents uh, adsorbable organic halides uh, these compounds are produced when halogens react with organic matter 
so these are the group of uh, bioaccumulative chemicals uh, and these are removed uh, with the help of culture mixed culture of algae such as chlorella chlamydomonas microcystis species Microremediation is one of the uh, effective approach we can say for bioremediation. Phenerochaetae and Pleurotus species are ligninolytic fungal species. These fungi reduce polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Mycorrhizae are fungi which colonize with root tissues, increase the absorption area and enhance the heavy metal uptake by plants. Xenobiotics are degraded by methanotropic methanogenic bacteria and sphingomonads uh, as well. Rate of bioremediation is affected by various factors such as pH, temperature, carbon source and concentration of pollutants. Acceleration of bioremediation is achieved by creating an organism friendly nutritive environment. So biostimulation is one of the techniques which will enhance the growth of microorganism in that particular area and induce bioremediation. This refers to addition of rate limiting nutrients like phosphorus, nitrogen, oxygen and electron donors to severely polluted sites to stimulate the existing bacteria to degrade the hazardous and toxic contaminants. Bacteria which are able to degrade chemical species naturally are developed using strain improvement methods to enhance the quality of the technique. The characters mainly include specific enzyme production and respiratory abilities in presence of the contaminant. Bioaugmentation is a standard way to improve the performance of indigenous organisms by adding microorganisms of specific catabolic activities. Effective steps in bioaugmentation are immobilization or entrapment of the cells, quorum sensing, etc. The removal of heterocyclic compounds from refineries is improved using immobilized naphthalene cultivated Arthrobacter species. Quorum sensing ensures the colonization of effect, uh, effective and efficient bacteria. Manipulation of genome development of genetically modified organisms can be uh, a strong approach towards enhancing degrading capabilities of the bacteria. Pseudomonas putida is a GMO generally engineered with the plasmids encoding for catalytic degradation of hydrocarbons uh, such as toluene, xylene, etc. Flavobacterium species and some pseudomonas species have POD gene. This gene involved in degradation of pesticides such as parathion and methylparathion. Bioremediation does not cause a significant disturbance in normal activities. Biosorption and biostimulation are emerging methods in pollutant degrading techniques. It uses natural components to improve state of contamination. It is economically profitable as well. The use of naturally occurring microorganisms makes the method sustainable and fulfills the requirement of biodegradation. It prevents the accumulation of toxic chemicals and reduces the possibility of bioaccumulation and thus future possibilities of biomagnification. Bioremediation techniques can be considered as an effective cleanup strategy towards a healthy environment. Thank you.